Make sure you're working on a cool engine and before starting this job, disconnect the battery like shown here in the negative terminal. clamp on this side and the other side and look for the t25s uh, bolts so we're looking at the driver side of the intercooler now and uh, we have to remove this bolt and take this circ clip off so start removing the fan disconnect the power I use the uh, needle nose pliers and then all you do now is just pull the connection off. Now just try to move as much as you can out of the way. This right here is that one bolt that's holding the radiator fan in place. That's a T25. I uh, just take that off. All right, so the fan was a little bit difficult to remove, but we managed, uh, what we managed to do is push it from underneath and uh, kind of made it this far so we can pull it out now. All right, so we got it really loose. And here comes the fan. Make sure you don't break anything. It's so easy to break these. It's time to drop this intercooler down. All right. So um, what I did was I kept pulling here and it wasn't really effective. So back here is like a part of the intercooler that's like plastic you just pull on it and there we go right off and then you just got to do the other side and now this should um this should come down now there we go wow a lot of dirt so be ready to get rained on. And there we go. Down it comes. So before putting back the intercooler, try to blow some forced air and then basically clean it up. Wear gargles while you're doing it. 